Hello, my name is Woody. This is Changing the House of Pods, a podcast about Deftones. Today, I'm talking to my friend, Emma Holyoke. Emma's a longtime Deftones fan from merry old England. Uh, she's an avid podcast listener and passionate music lover. And we've been exchanging messages about Deftones for a, a couple of years now. In fact, it was Emma who encouraged me to reach out to Daniel P. Carter for this podcast. And that turned out pretty great, didn't it? I'm terrible. Uh, I like talking to Emma. She's very intelligent. She's funny. And her accent is fun to listen to. But I especially appreciate her being here today because, well, not everybody gets to talk to Deftones fans from a rural part of England. And, and I think it's fun to imagine somebody from another part of the world who loves Deftones as much as me. Because, you know, I can see which countries uh, people are listening from with the podcast software I use. Nigeria, Thailand, Argentina. Not trying to flex. It's just remarkable to see how Deftones have touched so many lives around the world. I mean, I remember when Deftones Worldwide was like a part of their branding. But to hear from people from South America who love Deftones, just like you and me, it's pretty cool to have that connection. So as a modest effort to provide some more global appeal and maybe just teach you some fun British slang, I humbly present to you my conversation with Emma Holyoke. Hello. Hey. Look at me, late to my own party. How are you? That's fine. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I am well. Nice to see you. Sure, it's nice yeah. to actually get to see you and talk yeah, to you in person for the first <laughs> time ever. I know. Well, no, second time. Second time? I, yeah, I FaceTimed you from... Oh, yeah, Def from the Def show. Yeah. show. Not FaceTime, but, you know, Instagram, I, FaceTime. I, I will <laughs> casually think about that moment and <laughs> uh, recall how I didn't know how to turn off my screen because I'm such an Instagram novice, such a Luddite. And I was, oh, like, no. staring at whoever was behind you in the seats as you're showing me the show. That's so funny. Yeah, that was. Yeah, um, thank you for Two and a half years today. ago, nearly. Holy shit, for real? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I guess because that was twenty two. The yeah. the the summer of let me let me see if I can guess. Uh was that July of twenty two that they were June. in June? June, yeah, the thirteenth specifically. Uh, and the venue. Tell me again the venue that you, that that uh, show was at. Kentish Town Forum. And there were a fuck ton of people there, like notable people, like like big yes, names. Yes, um, Head was there. Head was there. No yeah. way. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't think I even recall seeing uh, yeah. about Head being there. Did you see yeah. Head then? I didn't, but my friends did. I didn't watch with them because I wanted to be as near as I could get. <laughs> we were all on the balcony, but I went right to the front. I made some people move up. <laughs> I was like, got room for a little one. Um, and my friends went further back. Um, they saw him in the VIP bit with his, you know, his minders or whatever, his entourage guys. Yeah. yeah. Um, and who else was there? Daniel P. Carter was there. Yeah. DPC's always at the show. Yeah. Frank Carter was in the pit. I remember specifically seeing Frank Carter. Didn't he go yeah. live from the pit? Like, didn't he go live on know, IG or maybe not? Maybe that's a false memory, but he definitely was where. recorded being in the pit. Like, yeah, I remember... He was. Like somebody was like, holy shit, you're Frank Carter. And he was yeah. like, well, I saw him. I saw him and I thought, oh, that guy looks like Frank Carter and didn't think anything else of it. And then I found out later it was him. Guess what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. super fun. Um, yeah. Thank you for doing this. You are going to yeah. be, I think, officially or unofficially, the very last uh, oh, conversation my. that I'm recording for this upcoming season. So, okay. uh, wow. so I'm, I'm drinking coffee, but cheers okay. to you. Do you want to know what pretty... I'm drinking? Yes. Uh, is that uh <laughs> let me guess uh Chardonnay? No. No. It's Pinot, it's Pinot Grigio. Ah. Mm. But um only I, I mean it's it's six o'clock here, so PM. Might, might just add. So um <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, AM. Let's just pretend you said AM and <laughs> yeah. cheers to you. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> yeah. It's fine. As we say, uh, the sun's past the yard's arm. I don't know what that means. No, no, nor do I really, <laughs> apart from it means it's late enough to have a drink. <laughs> this is actually much later than I usually drink coffee, but seeing as how I'm presently uh, underemployed and 
Um, yeah. I smoked a joint like an hour ago. I was a little late. I was like, I need to pick <laughs> Same. me up before we do this. <laughs> Um, well, I have, uh, fun stuff that I want to share with you. Um, mm -hmm. nothing, nothing too crazy, um, that hopefully won't be a spoiler, uh, by the time this podcast comes out, maybe it will, I don't okay. know. Maybe that's just a little teaser for, uh, Ooh. hardcore <laughs> fans to listen all the way through this conversation. But, yeah. um, let's, let's talk about your story as a Deftones fan. When... Okay. Do you recall first hearing or finding out about Deftones? I think it would have been 98. Um, I was 18. And I, my friends and I used to frequent uh, a rock club in our city. Um, Which city is that too, by the way? It's called Leicester. And and where specifically is that for so, uh, a, a not worldly American okay. like myself? <laughs> we are slap bang in the middle of England. Um, so uh, can I, I follow know. up with uh, is slap bang a <laughs> frequently used expression <laughs> yeah. where you're from because it fucking rules? <laughs> yep, slap bang in the middle of in the middle of England. <laughs> All right, can and, I start working um, slap bang into my yeah slap bang. Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> specifically, there's slap bang in the middle. That's that's the slap the bang phrase. in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's the only place I like to slap bang. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> um, and I live about fifteen mi fifteen miles south of Donington, which is where Download is held, which might be significant for word. Um, yeah, that's where you to live today. To yeah, because it looks sort of. Uh, Forgive me, just from like following you on Instagram, like yeah. it looks sort of rural. Like you're not in yeah. a, in an, yeah. you're not like it's not like London. No, no, I'm a I'm a hundred miles north of London. Oh, okay. And um, yeah. So it's it's I would say semi rural. It's a village where I live. So it's beautiful. Not, I'm only seven about seven miles out of my city, so it's not far. Yeah. It's That's just, really cool. It, it's yeah. so like I love I, when you just post going uh, for a walk with the dog or something. I'm like, yeah, man, <laughs> that is gorgeous. Like it's just <laughs> beautiful. Okay, oh, so uh, you frequent a, a rock club. Where again yeah. was the in in, in Leicester? It uh -huh. was called. Well, when I used to go, it was called Al Alcatraz or Traz. Traz for short. Sure. We used to Traz. Traz. Going to That's... Traz very hip yeah yeah, yeah. um it, it had it's had various names over its years um but uh yeah so my friends and I used to go there pretty much every week <laughs> to the point where I oof, early the early 2000s I got to the point where I just couldn't go anymore because I just couldn't I was sick of the sight of the place <laughs> I just uh yeah I'd had enough so um but yeah we used to go every single week and they would play part of the reason I got sick of it was the playlist every night was exactly the same <laughs> <gasps> every week kind of thing yeah at first every that's Friday the draw nights. and then it's like all right enough yeah, yeah yeah and then and then we used to play the game of let's see if we can correctly guess what the DJ is going to play next and we would <laughs> get it right a lot of the time but yeah they would always play uh my own summer and that's so, how you got introduced to Death that, yeah yeah that's, well, that's I mean, I, I guess then whether or not you got sick of the place, at least they introduced you to Deftones. That's kind yes, of rad. They, so, yeah, they did. Uh, so specifically, then you're at this rock club. Are you? Is this? Are you dancing? Are you just yeah. vibing? So you're. Oh no, dancing. You're literally introduced to Deftones on the dance floor. Yeah. That's fucking cool. Because yeah. I don't associate Deftones, even though I feel like I've made a sort of bold claim in that Ohms is a dance record disguised as yep. a metal record. Yeah. Uh, I don't think people necessarily associate Deftones with a dancing no, vibe. Probably not. You know but I mean? uh, when I'm when I'm saying, I mean, I say dancing. We would people would make like a kind of a mosh pit on the dance floor if you like. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. There was certain if you hear, heard heard certain songs come on, you had to get the hell out of there. But well, if you didn't want to get killed, Hit your elbow to the face or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, specifically, really? Oh, if if they played Faith by Limp Bizkit. I had to I had to get out of there. I'm only small, I'm five foot one. So um yeah, and and I would stand back and, and kind of be on the periphery of that. <laughs> yeah, that get the place rules. it would go off. It would go uh, off like a frog in a sock. <laughs> frog in a sock. All right, now now I gotta start a whole list. <laughs> 
smack bang of middle of a frog in a sock. Okay. <laughs> Uh, fantastic. So, yeah. uh, what happens from there? You're just like, oh, that was cool. Or were you like, a, were you following? Were you like really into music at that time, or was it just yes. sort of the background? It, oh, you were. Oh yeah, 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 big time. Yeah, I was a big uh, new metal kid at the time when that all happened. Okay, so time. like, let's talk briefly about your wardrobe then, as a new metal kid. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So baggy jeans. Yeah. Very were you, like, were you very brand uh brand specific about no. your no, no okay, I just wasn't. had to be no. whatever the fit was right. The yeah. fit was more important yeah. than the label. All right, yes. cool. Yes, yeah, definitely. Um uh to the floor, of course, dragging in the wet. You know, and it goes How dumb. It soaks all soaks all the way up your leg, like teeny. What were we doing? <laughs> like know, at least the kids now doing. are like they're they're higher. You know what yeah. I mean? Like that's still yeah. like, or they're bringing back the baggy, but with a little like, aha. Yeah. We're yeah. going to keep these pants are vintage. Yeah. They're expensive. We're going to yes, not exactly. them. Right yeah. Away. Yeah. I, probably, I think I might even still have some of mine, but anyway, I don't know. And and definitely a keychain, a wallet chain thing. For sure. Uh, big hoodies. Bigger the better. Big yeah. Yeah. Here in Minnesota, uh, it's cold or, well, before climate change really. Uh, had its impact it's presently yeah. like 80 degrees today in october yeah um but uh baggy big hoodies like that's a common currency like that's just what oh, yeah. we we wear and yeah. so for a while it, for that time and that moment in time it just felt so perfect like the stars were just aligned like yeah. uh finally like apparel yeah. i can get behind and it also makes sense yeah weather wise I and I had a big, um, huge, actually. Um, I've got a Deftones hoodie. You know the one that had the Dickies style, yeah, logo thing. Um, I've still got that. You still I've got still, it? Yeah, I wore it to download this year. Did you? Yeah, and did I wear it the year before? I don't know if I did or not. No, I didn't wear it the year before because it was hot. So I didn't need a hoodie, and I, but I did wear it the year before when I when Deftones played. I love yep. that. I yep. love it's that. It's still massive. It's still almost down to my knees. <laughs> Do you have any other uh, OG apparel or Not... or memorabilia? Memorabilia, yes. Um, I've got a patch, a Deftones patch. Um, my friend gave me that though, because it, 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 I think he got that when he he saw them in '97 here. Um, and he gave it to me a couple of years ago. Wait, yeah. and it's so got, your friend it's saw got... them over yeah. there in yeah, 97. he did. It was two weeks before um, Around the Fair came out. Oh. Yeah, he went to the tour where it was um, far. Oh. Yeah, I know. And he, and he met Chi and Steph and hugged them and got autographs. And he bought um, Tin Can's album from Jonah and talked to him. And he, when I was talking to him about it a while ago, and he was like, "Because I, I knew him then, but we weren't, we weren't um, as close friends then." But he said to me, he told me about everybody that went, and he said, well, "How come you didn't come with us?" <laughs> I don't know. Why didn't I come with you? <laughs> but I'm not sure. I, I, I don't think I knew who Deftones were at, the, at that point. But also at that gig. He, my friend Chris, he worked in a record shop here, and he had the sampler of Around the Fair that came out, and it had, it had a, I think it had, there was a couple of songs on it. I, I, I'm not sure what. I think Around the Fair, the song was on it as well. Um, and so he'd heard these songs, and when, because when they started playing them at, at the gig, which was in Nottingham at Rock City. Because he, he heard them and was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, the rest of the crowd was like, what were you talking about? This is a new song kind of thing. How do you know? But he did. That's yeah. so badass. I know. It'd be even better if I was there. Hey, ha. I know. <laughs> I have a, a handful of those shows uh, that I could have been to. I could have been at. I, I could have attended. Yeah. I don't yeah. know why I wasn't there. Yeah. Yeah. There's even a couple that, frankly, I don't remember if I was there or not. <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, chuck it up to whatever youth i don't know but yeah, um know. just thinking about being there in that time and mm. you know the accessibility of the band 
uh, yeah. then. Like you could mm. just, you know, when you, yeah. when you're young and you, you have that, um, that sort of like attitude, that laissez faire attitude or whatever. It, yeah. Just, just like, fuck it. I'm going to go see if I can meet this. Ba-. But you also have to be sort of into it. There's, there's a unique intersection of being, um, aware of and, yes. and you have to be vigilant and about the scene or whatever to know which bands are going to pop off. Yeah. And I think there's youth has to be tied into it too, because like, you know, there's plenty of young bands that I'm sort of aware of that might eventually pass through the twin cities or might pass through the twin cities. But I'm like, ah, I'm old. Like I can't, Yeah, <laughs> you know, you, you I got can't a go couple, I got one, a couple of sh- Yeah. You just can't, it would be no, great. But- I know. No. Well, no. also as well, in those days, it was damn sight cheaper, wasn't it? it? It wasn't as expensive as it is now. Oh man! So everybody is about uh, up in arms over God. these uh, Deftones, but they're playing arenas. They're playing huge. Oh, are they a lot of money? Yeah. Oh no, yeah. are they? Yeah. Well, you know, that's the that's the business, as yeah. they say. But um, I still think it's going to peak. Deftones are going to headline Madison Square Garden. Yeah. Like, that's fucking yeah, awesome. Actually, is that information out there yet? Because it's not. Oh, yeah. Yet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The, oh, the, of course, because they're on shit. sale now, aren't they? Yeah. Well, shit, it's almost the whole fucking thing sold out. I think is there's it? only a couple of dates that aren't. Yeah, I saw that they'd added a few in some places. Mm-hmm, yeah, they, they did add additional dates, I think, in like mm. LA and whatnot. Mm. June June of next year, that's going to be your time. Is there yeah, an, I really where, hope so. Where are they going to play? Are they just going to do the festival circuit or are they going to be? I don't know. I, I, I'd like to think they'll play Download because it's just on the road for me. Yeah. Um, and it'd be. <laughs> hey, you got to speak it into existence, right? I know, <laughs> yeah. I know. And to be honest, looking at who headlined last year, I reckon they could headline this year. Yeah. Yeah. Last year was, uh, sorry, this year was Queen's. Avenged mm. Sevenfold and Fallout Boy. I'd say they're, wouldn't you? Yeah. They're, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Equi- for sure. Equivalent, if not. At at least, uh, I think I think, for sure, over Queens of the Stone Age, just yeah. on size wise, Fallout Boy is a big band. Um, yeah, they are. Avenged is big, but they're sort of niche. So I think that also yeah, maybe plays so. to uh, and I don't. I think, favor. Yeah, I think so. And then I would say Avenged Sevenfold a bigger in the US, I would have thought than here. Yeah, I, it, it, I, I was really right. surprised to see them them headlining. To be honest, but I mean, good for them and all that. But it just surprised me that they were yeah. headliners. Yeah, Download's going to need that Deftones draw. They know. Yeah. They, they everybody's got to know from from uh, from the 18, 16, 15 year olds on up to yeah us geezers. That's yeah. so fun. So yeah. okay, speaking of us geezers, so let's go back in time again. Uh, what what happens next in your fandom? Do you you're like okay, that's my own summer. This song rules. Yeah, I think we go I, check the album or I, what I happens next for you. I can't remember exactly, but I think I I know definitely around the fell was the first album that I owned of theirs, and I remember then hearing uh, um, bored. So I kind of went a bit backwards. Yeah, um, but I. So the same friend that saw them at Rock City, um, Chris, I went to a a club night at Rock City in Nottingham. You you might have heard of Rock City. It's a place where loads, Deftones have played several times. I've seen them there. Lots of that. It sounds familiar for sure. That that kind of band will play. It's a kind of a a legendary, it's a really good venue. Great. Cool. Great venue. We still go often. But um I was they do they do club nights there too and I was there with my friend Chris and this song came on and he and he went and it caught me immediately that riff the board riff and he was like this is Deftones this is Deftones and I was like what and I can I've got such a vivid memory of that moment I like even down to what I was wearing um and this would have been 99 I'm gonna guess wow um yeah. I just love that it keeps like it's in a club. You keep hearing de- Yeah. I mean, I don't I don't know that I was necessarily uh going to many clubs at all, let alone rock clubs. Certainly not at 18 cuz 21 is the legal drinking yeah. age here. Yeah. So that's yeah. a big so difference. Yeah. But um I don't know. I guess everything was just so much more hip hop oriented in Yeah. 
public and in the world. Sure. Like, even though I think Minneapolis is sort of a rock town, um, that just wasn't what I was no. like embedded in. So I just think that's so fucking cool. Yeah, I, Cause it's yeah. so like, I still to this day, like if I hear Deftones in public, I'm like, Ooh, yeah, you know me too. Like, where's it at? <laughs> Who put it on? What is it? <laughs> like, yeah, like it's so yeah. exciting. You know what I mean? So for you to like, keep especially fucking bored that's yeah so sick. oh yeah I, I've, I've honestly got such a vivid memory of that of that and then of course I, then I bought adrenaline yeah and then so then I was a, a huge fan and I remember I remember when um, White Pony came out I was on holiday abroad with my then boyfriend and I got my housemate to um, get it for me from the record shop yeah. while I was away, like, gave, you know, gave him the money to go and get it while I was away. And I can remember coming back from that holiday, we'd been to Greece and I was really tanned. And I, I can remember standing in a, in the, in the living room and him giving it to me and commenting on how my tan, saying, <laughs> giving me white pony. And I just went upstairs straight away and put it on. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. What format was it? Was it CD? CD. Yeah. 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 And and it's so it's the one that starts with uh, Fate of Sarah. Yeah, I was gonna ask. I was going, oh, yeah. what what color is it? Yeah, that's yeah, red. Yeah, it is white. It, well, you know the white one, not the yeah, not any of the colors. But um, still, that's so sick. yeah. Especially without like back to school on it, yeah. I feel like that makes it a little bit more OG yeah. and just I don't yeah. know. That's dope. That's so. So dope. to me, White Pony still starts with that. Even you know if I play it now, I've because I've still got the CD, but. If I play it now from Spotify, I usually yeah. skip past back to yeah. school. I'm like, this is not how it starts. <laughs> In fact, I listened to it yesterday and did that very same thing. <laughs> I am guilty of doing the same thing, I think, uh, just yeah. a couple of days ago at the gym. And it's nothing against back to school. I, I no. actually quite like back to school. Yeah. I, don't, yeah. I, don't, I don't mind it at all. Um, but that's not the way that record starts. That's so funny. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> I love also that you had the opportunity to really dig in and become a fan before Pony came out. Like, not yeah. that that's like uh, old heads or what. I'm not trying to even say that. But, um, you know, that's what you do when you discover a band that you love is you you get into the album that got you into it. You go yeah. backwards mm. and then you enjoy everything yeah, that what comes, comes next. next. Yeah. And that you got the chance to do that first like that it wasn't um just you know raw right into pony you know what yep, i mean like that yep. you got the chance to go back experience yeah. adrenaline and then get yeah. pony is so special because it's really like you know all the time i feel like i see people posting on reddit and they're obviously young people because they're like hey i'm just getting i'm just a oh yeah where should I go? All the recommendations. What should I do? Yeah. Should I... It's like, well, fuck, they're all really fucking great. I don't need, yeah. I, I don't need to no, tell yeah. you where to go. Just fucking go. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I think to experience it in that way as they did yeah. is, is super fucking cool. So Pony mm -hmm. came out and uh, what, what was, did, was that finally when you got to see them on tour or did you get to see them before that? No, I saw them before. I saw them at Reading 98 the first time yeah okay yeah uh what was chino wearing at that show oh god i can't remember come on um all right i'm gonna look i know up. i've seen photos since but i can't I, if i know yeah. which jacket he was wearing then it'll <laughs> give me some context of which show yeah. we're talking about you know what i'm saying no uh, i've got was it a black polo shirt with you know the one with the white and red stripe down the front i don't know i might be wrong yeah oh uh, this one looks like it was oh uh, this was 2000 Fuck yeah me. saw them then as well there bizarre oh man that's so cool all right i'm not gonna waste time looking up that information uh yeah so wow. I was, yeah so i saw them reading 98 reading 2000 and then i saw them on the white pony tour in london uh with lincoln park no way, really? Yeah, and Taproot. <laughs> so Lincoln Park replaced Incubus on the yeah, European when they came with, yeah. end of that tour? Yeah, we didn't get Incubus. Fuck, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Were you them. into Lincoln Park or were you like, fuck Lincoln Park knockoff, knockoff Deftones band? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, yeah. option B. <laughs> Sorry. Knew it. <laughs> I've, um, I'm, yeah, I, to be honest, when Linkin Park first released Hybrid Theory, I, I was into it. My friends, uh, my housemate went to the US for a little trip with another friend and they brought it back with them. And it was before, like, nobody over here knew who Linkin Park were. Park cool. where then and so it's can it have been might it have been released bef- in the US before it was released here I don't know but anyway they weren't nobody knew who they were and I was into all that sort of thing at the time so I'd have known who they were if you know if they were yeah. popular here or whatever and they brought back hybrid theory like listen to this listen to this you know they're really into it um and I did I did like it to start with but then I I don't know what, what it, whether it was just hearing it overplayed in the club or whatever what it was, but by the certainly by the time I saw them, which was March two thousand and one, on the White Pony tour, I was over them. Yeah. So funny. I feel like that was <laughs> that is such a a real experience for um, people of our age. Yeah. Of like with as it relates to Lincoln Park, like they just. And yeah. I feel like I sort of missed out a little bit too because um, I think after like the Jay Z reanimation thing, I was kind of like, all right, I'm really done with Lincoln Park now, and mm-hmm. I missed probably a lot of good stuff that they yeah they, that was probably further of a departure from Hybrid Theory, even though I too was like Hybrid Theory is dope. I'm like a yeah. little too much like fake Deftones, but I like it. I get down with it. And then same thing by 2000, I was like fuck mm. crawling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I still. I wish you would take one step closer to the edge. And... <laughs> it's terrible, just terrible. They've kind of. I like it again I've now, got... though. It's sort of yeah, come back. You yeah, know? I, I, I've got a bit. Of, I've still got a bit of a soft spot for them. I think. Yeah. Um, and it, you know, if they play that when, on the rare occasion that we go to a rock club these days, <laughs> um, usually a nineties night or two thousands night or whatever but if we know when they play linkin park i'm yeah, i still can appreciate that yeah there's something uh really accessible about linkin park and um yeah. i like rap beats there's no yeah there's no yeah. hiding that i like a, I like a yeah. good rap beat and i've heard the new the two new singles that they've released and actually yeah. i i thought i thought they were all right they're decent i thought yeah yeah, I hmm. I uh, I'm only familiar with the first one. I haven't really checked the second one yet, but um, I wasn't I wasn't like turned off. It definitely sounded no. like Lincoln Park. I was. Yeah. I don't know. It'll be interesting. I'm I'm rooting for them because I'm sort of rooting for the whole renaissance of new yeah. metal. Still, I'm yeah. Just, I'm like, <laughs> you know, like there's I, know. I, I I I love that Deftones are experiencing this whole like. The fucking headlining Madison Square Garden, like again, yeah, you know, they're is, probably going to headline download. Like, let's hope that oh, they I do. I really hope so. Uh, but I, as well as that, though, I'm going to be greedy. I want them to. I don't. I love. I would love. I'll die if they headline download. It'll be great. But I need. I need. They know. I need to see them at their own show too. Yeah. Festival. Festival's great and all. Great day out. But I need to see them at their own show. I couldn't agree with you more. I. I am. Um, even with Dia and Dia is a whole like that's their thing yeah it's a whole Deftones day mm-hmm. and that's great but there's nothing like being with them in a room yeah and yeah you just it's different yeah this is that different. that Kentish Town Forum show into 22 oh my god that I still think that's the best gig I've, I've ever been to ever really and I've been to hundreds. really yeah really really mm-hmm. wow your best it was just, wow yeah ever it was just up there what why well i mean the, the show itself but also i was completely wound up on the lead up to it and i think that was, i was just i was just so excited about them coming um and yeah i, I just and, and also I, I think you had a hand in it because your episode with miguel from when you did your road trip that i think that you you released that about I think it was less than a week before I was used to see them and I was just like oh my god oh my god, oh my god. I was so excited That's tremendous yeah, That's yeah tremendous. honestly I was I couldn't eat on like the day before I was going to see them 
I was just, uh, I probably shouldn't have driven down to London because I drove down on my own and stayed at my friend's and I probably shouldn't have driven, to be honest. <laughs> but I did. That's too funny. So, yeah. so where, what's like the, the room up from there, from Kentish Town? Is there a bigger room? Like, is there something equivalent of like Madison Square Garden in, or is it, is it like the O2? Is yeah, that where, they, the is O2 that where is... they're likely to play, you think? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. That might be a bit too big. Linkin Park played there uh, last week. but oh, They're in the middle of their whole relaunch. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know whether Def Tones will play there. I don't know. They might. I'd like it if it was another Kentish Town one, though, because that, yeah. that was that's an intimate one. That was I think that I can't remember the capacity of that. Time. five seven thousand right something like that it's, it's not like huge. three. Oh, really yeah maybe three and a half it's not very bad at all. ass yeah that <laughs> makes that the... video that i recall of like frank <laughs> carter even cooler yeah <laughs> yeah it, it, those tickets went very very quickly yeah i mean My that seems to be the case with every yeah that's mm. wow, that's so cool uh so uh pony came out what's your favorite pony <laughs> song Maybe Street Cop. Ooh, really? I, yeah, I love that song. Maybe Knife Party. One of the two. Yeah? Yeah. Knife Party is uh, an interesting favorite track, I feel like. Because it's such a unique track to that it album. Is. It and is, so, yeah. But Street Carp, I feel like, is... um, That's just like one of those quintessential Deftones songs yeah like it's just a bit like korea i often associate korea mm -hmm. with as, as being like a like when i think of what a deftone song sounds like i think yeah of korea but street street carp is a bit like korea but just a little bit more artsier i think maybe mm -hmm. i don't know yeah yeah yeah, yeah i don't know i, I forget that yeah that's so that's so yeah. dope though yeah what well, is is pony your favorite album no <clears throat> sorry no no it's not um I kind of I flip between self-titled and um Diamond Eyes. Okay, so self-titled you uh were you must have been like at peak Deftones fandom then rolling off of uh Pony. Yeah. Were you you were in love with self -titled? how did you get introduced to self-titled? Do you recall? Do you were you I, like when uh, cuz what was the I first just... was Minerva was the first single I think, right? I think so. What do you recall about what do you recall about the release of the self titled record or I know anything? I know I got it on the day it came out. Yeah. Yeah. Um because I was, you know, foaming at the mouth for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely I got it on the day it came out. And I remember listening and thinking, Oh, this is a, a, a departure, you know, um, from White Pony. It's... Did you think so? Really? What yeah. about what about it? I just thought it's it sounded so different and yeah I guess it's the it's it's on more of a downer isn't it I suppose but but I loved it straight away yeah. I yeah do you I, think it's heavier than Pony yes. yes I think so yeah is it heavier in the like uh emotional sense or is it just heavier in like, like I think both yeah yeah yeah. I wonder yeah. what that like I know they've talked about the albums and all of that but I think you're right and the tone definitely got heavier as emotionally heavier into Saturday mm. Night Wrist but Yeah. Uh I wonder what like they had to have collectively come to a place right where they and I think about this often with every Deftones record. Like, mm. I know they jam out songs and they try to find what they like, but there's still some some consensus that they all have to come to, right? That, like, represents sort of where they are in time. And it's yeah. really... Does you, do you ever think about, like, how they how they compose in that way or how they make a record? I know that's sort of an abstract. Uh, yeah, I, I really, I don't know. 
I think I believe I know you're um, cynical about it, but I, I I really think you know how they say they it just comes out whatever comes out comes out, and they don't have a um, an agenda or you know they don't. I, I really think that's how they do it. Yeah, it I just, am a bit cynical about it. It just <laughs> happened. I, I know I've heard you say it before. <laughs> uh, maybe but, I'm just fishing for something that's not there, but I don't know. You're. I think you're right in that, like there is something about the expression that just, you know, stream of consciousness or however you want to put it. But then when you continually go back and reshape and, and Mm, yeah, over time, yes. And decisions are made. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously we'll keep this bit and not that bit. Yeah. And those decisions ultimately, you know construct the but the way i think they probably do it on how 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 it hits them like you know the the way it hits me or us uh, yeah, as deftones fans i think i think they that they must go on that feeling you know and it just gets you and you're like ha <laughs> interesting I suppose that you're probably right. I I have often thought about it as like there's some sort of like intellectual agenda behind like how to assemble an album or a song. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure you're right in terms of you know whatever triggers that feeling. I I suppose the fact that I'm not a musician and that I don't make music with other people sort of makes me, puts me on the outside of that and might be some cause for some of my uh, conspiracies. But um, yeah, I guess, man, they must have all been really fucking depressed when they made that (laughs) shit. Well, self-titled. Yeah, it was all the meth as well. Yeah. Was that not the most shocking thing that you've heard? Because you are an avid podcast listener. Yeah. yeah Is that fair I to am. say? Yeah, that's fair. Far and away the most oh, shocking God, yeah. uh, moment in a in a podcast that you've ever listened to was Definitely. Chino confessing yep. to Toby Morris, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was Toby's. Yeah. Yeah. I remember it, as soon as I heard it, I was texting my friends going, oh, my God, do I believe this? <laughs> I, mean, I almost felt I almost felt like a way in my stomach. You know what I yeah. mean? I almost felt like like a sinking feeling, like, oh, sh-. and and not out of like shame or embarrassment or anything like that. It was like, fuck, <clears> dude <throat> was going through it. He was yeah. going through yeah. it. But then he also says, doesn't he, that in that part of the conversation, that he found it reasonably easy to just stop. He just one day thought, oh, I've had enough of this, and um, stopped, and that was it. And he said, he said he was never rolling around in the gutter or anything you know trying to get his next fix so i think he was lucky yeah lucky ones isn't he oh yeah Yeah. that's crazy (laughs) yeah what's your favorite deftones podcast that isn't mine (laughs) (laughs) um or conversation i suppose uh yeah it's it's either the toby one or the peer pleasure ones. Oh, he's done. Uh, Chino's done a couple with. Yeah, he's done two. With uh, one, one at his house. Dewey, Dewey. from peer pleasure, right? Yeah. Um. Did you uh, see the um the uh, collab that uh, Abe did with Butch Vig? Yes. Uh, uh, yes, video? I saw it in your stories, and I I watched it. Yeah, that was awesome. I just. What, I, I've seen Abe do, uh, he, I think he did uh, uh, an interview with, he did a couple interviews over the pandemic. I I want Abe to be on more, po- like, let's just give him a mic. Put Abe yeah. in front of a oh, mic. I just I want Abe to, to talk. He's so much fun. Like, I know. And, and that's not any shade at, at Chino, because obviously he's he's really the voice of the band. Yeah. He's the one Trump who... Yeah, it's inevitable, yeah. Yeah. Um, but... <laughs> Uh, Abe is so. Oh, I love listening to Abe. Great. He talks so fast as well, doesn't he? <laughs> He's so, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> they, they both have a little bit. I think that's just like a. It must be like a, a North Bay. Yeah. Thing, like something about 
where they're from because it has that there's a certain cadence to it yeah and it's it's sort of all the words just sort of slip out yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it does yeah i know um <clears throat> excuse me last time they were here for download um chino didn't do any of the press stuff that they have to do you know when they're backstage and everyone wants a piece of them um abe and frank did it <clears throat> and they were they were great actually it was really good to see just those two I bet drinking a night drinking with those two guys. Oh my god, it'd be brilliant. The most fun. It would be definitely. the most fun. Is there anything that you learned or maybe were surprised to learn from uh, the conversations that you've listened to uh, from Chino, like other than meth? Yeah, yeah, the meth thing's a big <laughs> one. That's, that one sort of stands out, <clears throat> I know, but um, I don't know about surprised. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I didn't know that about um the fact that Steph was at the um the pa the Paris show the uh e was it Eagles of Death Metal right. when there was the oh, God I didn't know he was there. Yeah, that was pretty. Yeah, that must have been awful. I mean, obviously they left, didn't they? Just in time. Yeah, but that must have been. I think Pretty folks harrowing. often overlook. Yeah. I mean, in their judgment of Steph and his Stephness, mm -hmm. you know, he doesn't mind being uh, 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 contradictory or he doesn't mind pushing a button or just saying something wild. Yeah. Um, but I think he speaks from the heart. And um, I think a lot of people do often overlook the fact that he yeah. was. They were, I think they were going to play like the next night, the same venue. They were, I think that, think, weren't they doing three nights? Yeah, that something venue. like that. Yeah. Yeah. And so they were all in the city. And then, yeah, Steph and one of the techs, I think, I don't know if someone else as well, I think, was there. They'd gone to thought, oh, let's go and check out Eagles of Death Metal. It was Eagles of Death Metal, wasn't mm -hmm. it? I'm not, yeah, yeah. 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 It was. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then apparently decided to leave before the end to go and get some food. <sighs> Scary. Terrifying. Yeah. And probably far more uh, terrifying having been there, having mm. just walked out of the venue. Yeah. Did you hear on a lighter note, uh, yeah. the new Soul and Victo song that came no, out? No, I, I saw, I have, I've been at work today, so I haven't had time to do anything, but, um, I, like I had a quick scroll on Instagram and saw that they'd released it. And I thought, oh, I'll have to listen to that. It, is it good? You're going to like it. Yeah. yeah. It's heavy as fuck. Yeah. Ah, oh, awesome. Cool. Yeah, is it? Can you hear Steph? Can you hear the Stephness? Yeah. 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 And there's, it's fun because there's like, um, you know, there's no guitar solo, but there's sort of like no. this moment where it, the guitar solos should be, I guess. And really? If you're, <laughs> if you're one of those type of rock fans. Yeah. Uh, and it's like, Nah, it just gets back into another vibe. And it's uh, like, just ripping. It's just ripping. Awesome. And it's cool. Um, yeah, yeah. I think it's a fun track. And the the vocals oh, great. are great. Yeah, it's it's super fun. Yeah. Um so uh what's uh what's your if if self-titled is either your favorite or your second favorite, mm -hmm. do you have a favorite song from the self-titled album? Yeah. Hexagram. It is really Yeah. You just that... you really like balls to the wall. <laughs> I do, I do. Yeah, I I just that opening riff. Oh my god, it just sends me. I love it so much. Yeah, it's great. That's fantastic. Yeah, I love it. Anytime uh, I think about uh, hexagram now, I think about this tweet that uh, initially was one of the reasons that I reached out from to Brendan from Incendiary, mm -hmm. and he had tweeted out like hexagram chino chill out dog or something like that it was just like bro yeah he just yeah. like it you that really the, when it cracks when his voice cracks that it, oh. it's shredding it doesn't just yeah, crack it it's like it literally sounds mm. like you can hear his vocal cords yeah shredding apart mm. and wasn't that after he'd had the vocal surgery as well yes dude <laughs> yeah yeah so badass so great yeah. that it's captured on yeah, on record forever. Because didn't um, I, he tells the story in one of the I can't remember it, if it's the peer pleasure one or the Toby's podcast, but the um he tells the story, doesn't he, that Terry Date 
said to him something about how his it it all cracked and he wanted to um change it uh, you know it, it, the 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 scream with the, where he, his voice cracks and Chino listened to it and he said no no keep it in that's so badass I <laughs> yeah. need to re-listen to that that's yeah. awesome I have to say I do go back and listen to them do you uh, not regularly but yeah just every now and again it's kind of like comfort you? food <laughs> is it yeah <laughs> I don't know yeah yeah that's I, d- really I cool. don't yeah I just now and again I'll yeah all right I'll I that. have to ask is there a is there a, a conversation that I've had that you revisit uh, yes, yeah, sh- the Sean one. I just think that's really that's yeah. I love that one. It I've is. I've listened to that is. one a few times. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool as shit. Mm. That's awesome. I I was very very stoked to get yeah. that conversation. Sean was and remains uh, really nice and and gracious person. Yeah. I'm so so happy for the success that they oh, have had. Amazing. Like, I, it's I just, just yeah. I know, fantastic. I was stoked to see them this year, twice. Um, All right. This seems like a fun little time to maybe drop a surprise nugget of information. Okay. I can't share my source. Okay. But there will be another side project (gasps) by Mr. Chino Moreno. No. Oh, my God. An additional one. So, in addition to crosses, in addition and... to crosses, and I don't suppose that we can really count Team Sleep, Team Sleep as they no. are not exactly no uh, active. Active, no. But oh my god, Chino, with his old pal, yeah, and hold on, I want to make sure that I, I don't remember if there were two other guys. I'm looking. Okay. Uh, the other person is. I don't know who that is. He's a guitarist from uh, who worked with. Oh. He is, I believe, currently the lead guitarist for. Oh. Oh my god. And, uh, my understanding is that it is uh, some kind of a style. Really. Of of uh, music, yeah. Wow, I'm oh sure it'll have some avant garde. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Chino thing to it. Yeah. Oh my god, that man is prolific. Right. Yeah. It's a bit. How has he had time for this? <clears throat> Between Deftones and Crosses and bloody hell, right? Okay. And it's not like there have only been a couple of Crosses songs. <laughs> You know, no, I mean? no. Been like yes, exactly. Loads of yeah. Songs. Although it has, it's almost a year now since the album dropped. It is. It has been yeah. a while. So I, mm. they've probably not done anything, and I'm sure no. there's. And, although they've of... been on tour. True. You know. But you know they were uh, playing. Um, uh, what is the song? Good night, God bless, I love you. Delete that song yeah. was. They were playing that. Chino was playing that beat as part of the. Um, uh, intro music or the, the part yeah. of the pre-show music. So yeah. for like a whole year, while Deftones yeah. were on tour. So I bet you there's plenty of opportunity yeah. or time. You know, there's in between stuff while other stuff is getting mixed and mastered and yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty wild to think about. That. Wow, and it's that it's is. really it's really neat to think uh that it like Palms continues to be like a. Uh, expression that is not so close to home, you know, yeah. not so mm-hmm. close to just center. Um, yeah, it's kind of wild. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's that's very interesting indeed. Yeah, you're, uh, <laughs> you're welcome for a little news. That's yeah. I wish I, I I had the I had the tour news before that got announced, but that's already out, so I don't. That's all I know. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, there's no other fun stuff that I'm no. to anymore. No. That's all mm. right though. Um, back to you. <laughs> well, you've you've, you've uh, <laughs> knocked me sideways there. <laughs> Speaking of Chino's side projects, is mm-hmm. is Crosses your favorite? Yes. Yeah. By Did you get into mile. Team Sleep back in the day? Do you know I didn't? No, no. no. And I think I because that, that when did that come out? Two thousand five. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
I don't know. No, I was going to say had I gone off the boil with them a bit by then, but no, because I I remember getting Saturday Night Rest when it came out. Do you remember that know. being a weird time as a Deftones fan, as I definitely remember being? I know, I know you said you remember. I don't particularly know. No. No. And I don't, yeah. No, I just, I don't remember... I remember you. You know, I've heard you say about how you you were worried about the future of your favorite band and everything. For sure, but that didn't register with you. No. Well, you were you were as you said going off the boil with them. I, I no, probably not them specifically. The um, genre, but yes, I think so. That checks um, out. Early twenties, uh, starting to probably college age. Started to I explore think other things, yeah. By then, by well, by like by two thousand and five, I'd have been twenty five then, and I was I don't know I th I think I I I went more towards um indie actually for a little yeah. while, yeah. yeah. I, was, I mean, still like that, still like that now. But in those days, I guess more so then, I was a bit more. This is what I'm listening to, or only this or you know whereas mm -hmm. now I'm give me it all yeah um but when you're younger there's more of an itch I think for discovery and to get exposed to different stuff and indie yeah. music was the shit at that time yeah to be fair was. there was a lot of good shit coming yeah, out was. that wasn't heavy it just no. it was no folksy or more I don't know what who are the artists that you uh pivoted into at uh, that time around that time well in this country we had a um we had an indie boom at that time um who did i like around that time uh, um arctic monkeys yeah yeah i really liked those at the time not as bothered now to be honest but th those th uh, their first album yeah lyrically alex's lyrics are fantastic yeah so just real on the nose and but and you're still you're still uh, grinning about the last lyric when he's on you know he's on to the next bit and you you can't, you can't keep up because it's just it's really really good. Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, who else at that time? Were the Strokes still doing stuff then? I like the Strokes. Yeah. Um, I like that we had a thing called a uh, new rave over here. And there was but there were um, I'm not I'm not sure it really translated to the US much maybe a bit but um there was a Brazilian band called CSS I don't know if you I don't think those. I know them no, no no um uh the gossip I don't know them either they're, they're great they're from oh god where are they from Arkansas really yeah yeah you you I bet you've heard this track standing in the way of control perhaps i don't know i can't think of it off the top okay. interesting yeah all right well i'm um, gonna definitely check just, that out There's just no loads pressure. of loads of indie stuff around that time we uh, uh klaxons they're they're a british band um but yeah we got, really got into all of that then so i kind of i uh, with the heaviest i wasn't really listening to as much heavy stuff at the time but i always i did always keep an uh one eye on what deftones were doing and i but i remember getting um the b-sides and rarities when that came out yeah yeah, still got my original. It's like a CD, but I don't know what you call it. It's it's in a like a cardboard type. Yeah, it's like a deluxe sort of a booklet. Yeah, yeah, and it's not a plastic case. Right. Um, yeah, it felt a little special, even though at yeah. the time I was like, "Well, I know all of these songs." <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So I, I definitely was still. You Good. you were had your finger to the pulse of Deftones, but not yeah. necessarily. Uh, no. But that's interesting. And then, um, were you aware of what was going on then with with Chi and? Yes. With, yeah. So that was. Yeah, I knew. I knew. I remember when that happened. Yeah, I remember. For, I'm sure. What did I? I would have probably read about that in Kerrang magazine or something because I yeah. used to read that all the time. Do you ever, um, do you ever, what do you think about lovers? Is that, 
Do you ever consider it? Do you ever think it's or Eros rather? Uh, er, um, okay. Do you ever consider it or think like, is this gonna is what this gonna happen? Been? Do you think yeah, it will? I think because of what Gino said um, on, I think it was the later of the two peer pleasure peer pleasure podcast. Yeah, it was because it was the one that they did at his house. It, how he's he was saying that everything's on his hard drive and he just hasn't you know one day he thinks he'll get around to listening to it and possibly releasing some because he well he he's the one that released um smile wasn't he mm -hmm. on you on his youtube channel yeah um so i think i think he will i think at some point because the the um i remember well sean said to you didn't he that there's some really good shit on there yeah 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 between what chino said what sean yeah. has said yeah what terry date said yeah about, like they all just seem to give all of them seem to give me more optimism than i had yeah for the past 20 years yeah <laughs> you yeah. know like it's just, or yeah. however long it's been it's um but it, it's nice it, though to hear your optimism <laughs> <laughs> I do I, <laughs> but then I also just to uh just to balance out that optimism as you've said before they're a band that don't look back do they yeah you know and I know they did the the white pony anniversary the black stallion thing but apart from that they don't look back very much so whether they'll think nah that's that's all in the past let's move on kind of thing I don't know and obviously, not just that, but then there's going to be the whole. That's the last thing she ever recorded, isn't it? So <sighs> there's that emotional. That's the whole part that for me feels so compelling is like share Chi's last work with the world. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's all. Like, like I don't need the whole marketing machine behind it i don't i mean you could make it a deftones record do the whole release or i don't know do something that feels special for this really yeah. special because I, I just if 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 we were journey fans and yeah. there was an album with Steve Perry. Steve Perry's not dead, but he was the original guy. Like, if there was a Journey album with Steve Perry, who gives a shit? You know what I mean? The new guy sounds like him, and he's out there, and nobody gives a shit about Journey. But where people who give a shit about Journey, they don't love Journey. No. Okay. Yeah. They don't. They don't. They've not got the. They don't cream. bleed for Journey. <laughs> The way that we bleed. Yeah. You're not going to go walk around and find somebody with a fucking journey tattoo. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck that guy, first of all, if that guy is, exists. But, <laughs> but like, Deftones fans, I feel like when you become a Deftones fan, you, you're, you're in it. Yeah, for you are. Deeper you're than you can, and I bet deeper than they even can understand. Yeah, yeah, probably. You're under that spell. And yeah. I, I just think they know that. Uh, and given, like I said, the renewed optimism and, and your optimism, because I feel like a lot of fans are like, nah, it's never going to happen. And that's OK. Mm -hmm. And they sort of accept it because I think we all sort of accept that that's our band. They're not going to, you know, bend over backwards yeah. to put out that second live or that second covers album. Or, no. you know what I mean? Or give us a live record, you know, a proper live record. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, And that's okay, because they keep giving us albums of hot shit. And that's... Yeah, exactly. If, the, if they're still uh, more interested in making new stuff, then... We'll be there, fine. right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, hopefully there'll be some news on that soon. Release date. I wish I had some, some news to share. <laughs> All I know is that the record's basically done. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think they, they might still be, I suspect, and it's October 3rd, 2024. They may still be uh, working on the music, but I would venture to guess that they're into the space of, like, artwork. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, yeah, the on, all the... <laughs> <laughs> right? You know, all, all of that, that sort of uh, 
the the business of the music business. Yeah. Yeah. Um and I wouldn't doubt for a second that Lincoln Park's long, long, long overdue release. I and mean, people have known about this Lincoln Park shit for a couple of years now, right? Yeah. Like at least in the industry. I'm sure that they have to sort of being label mates. Yes. And and they share a lot of the same creative partners as yep. label mates. Yep, they probably they have to, you know, let Lincoln Park do their whole thing. Mm -hmm. But I'm guessing early 25. Yeah. I, especially if they're going to be touring. When did the tour start? February. Then, yeah. Yeah. It's like late. Because it's, it's going to be, surely it's going to be out before the tour starts. Yeah. And I bet they so, do a couple of uh, run-up shows prior to the yeah. tour that'll just little pop-up things that'll yeah. that'll come out, hopefully in Minneapolis. I was going to say, maybe they'll do in Minneapolis then, seeing as they're not doing it on the tour. Thank you for that gentle yeah. reminder. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see at least a couple of shows. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to, I'll find a way. But, yeah. Uh, go and see Miguel. Yeah. That's the plan uh, is I'm going to go yeah. visit Miguel and... Yeah. Uh, I would like to go see them at Madison Square Garden. It's the night before yeah. my birthday, oh. so I'm I'm hopeful. I've never been to New York before. No, I'm oh, currently, like I said, underemployed, so I got the time off. Yeah, it's a, it's <laughs> we'll see. It's a ways between now and then. Yeah, but yeah, I'm, it is. I'm hopeful. Yeah. I'm optimistic. Yeah, oh, um, be amazing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what are you hoping for? Do you have any expectations for the uh, the new record album? I, do you know I don't. And I, I'm quite glad I don't because I just want to take it as it comes. I I think I think they're going to go more. Um, you know how Frank was higher in the mix for Ohms. Mm -hmm. I think I think there'll be some more Frank soundscapes, which is good. Yeah, and he was playing. I feel like some keys on there. Like actually, there yeah. was some. It wasn't just yeah, the not uh, just... atmospheric thing. It uh -huh. was there was some actual like comp more musical composition that he was putting together, and it was cool. Yeah, you like you liked Ohms then. Oh yeah, 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 I love it. Um, yeah. not as much as you did. I, 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 are you still of the opinion that it might be their best? Yes, or... Al although yeah. I uh, am, I guess like probably most Deftones fans and I dance around which one is going to be my yeah. favorite on a given day but yeah anytime that motherfucking spell of mathematics comes on yeah I'm like man this is the fucking best yeah this is the best yeah I still get that feeling when be quiet and drive comes on yeah yeah okay. and yeah. and Minerva is just a song that has grown on me and continues to grow on me mm. so self-titled being so close to my heart uh, to begin with now with the ascending like love that I have for Minerva, mm -hmm. those three albums are constantly in contention. Okay. But diamond eyes is also up there. And I'm curious, yeah. uh, uh, this is the third go round with Nick Raskolin as I'm yep. probably butchering his last yeah, name. Yeah. I don't know how to say it either. Yeah. Um, what do you do? You think there's some parallel? Do you see some similarity between Diamond Eyes and Koi, Koi. or any qualities that that um about maybe Diamond Eyes that you're hoping to find in uh in the next unnamed record? I I don't know. I on Diamond Eyes, I just think I just think it's wall to wall bangers. Just yeah, every song just oh my god, yeah. The, Even the, the soft and no... sexy ones. Beauty School is my other favorite of their songs. Really? Yeah. I love That's it so, so, so much. It, the it's lyrics... such a departure for Deftones, too. It's just such a not a yeah. Deftones song in some ways, you know? Oh, but it my is. gosh. It's I so love Beauty School. Yeah. I, That's so rad. The, 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 yeah. I kind, of, I kind of, um, I resonate, I think, a bit with the lyrics. I think it's someone that's hard to get to know I think that's what the song's about um like you know difficult to yeah to get to know to properly get to know them and I, <laughs> yeah I think I see myself in that bit sometimes do you uh, yeah. I was gonna ask you it feels like you might have a personal connection with the song yeah 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 it just yeah so yeah just I don't know I, I I mean, the song itself without the lyrics would still 
get me and I love that you know the way it starts that that kind of dreamy sound and it and it ends with the really dreamy sound oh god I love that so much it's like waking up from a dream yeah I played that song for um for uh, a friend once yeah um an acquaintance really uh but she wasn't like a fan of Deftones or wasn't really familiar with Deftones and she wept she wept she heard oh, wow. that song and wept yeah. and I wow. was like oh shit <laughs> like yeah I think I just made a Deftones fan <laughs> and I was like yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh wow yeah, yeah it's it's powerful mm. I I wonder if there is some you know uh, there, I'm sure the collaborative through the collaborative process Nick as the producer brings a certain quality out or allows for something in particular to happen with mm. them that maybe we'll maybe we'll be able to put a pin in what that is after yeah, this maybe. album. Certainly there are definitely songs on Koi that hit me in the way that the songs from Diamond Eyes do. Rosemary in particular. Oh my God. Yeah. Just yeah. And there's a certain energy I feel like to like the hits Tempest and um the other Swerve. one. Yes. Uh but not in a way that I feel like is comparable or no. similar even to the like the whole quality of the record is just different than yeah. Diamond Eyes. It's it really is. And I uh, I will say Swerve City I think is my least favorite of the songs. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. We're just... I really, I'm not a fan. Sorry. Sorry. I guys. love that you went there. I will totally go there because I so seldom go there. But I am almost, um, I wouldn't say that it's my least favorite Deftones song, mm -hmm. but I don't, it doesn't no. really do anything. No, no. For me. And they, they just, they always play it live, don't they? Don't and always. you know what? When I hear it live, people fucking go they, for it. They do. They, they go out and shit. It. I mean, that's a, it's a great song to bounce to, probably, isn't it? You know, on the floor. Totally. Totally. Um, but, but I'm good. I'm just like, yeah. But I, to be quite honest, <laughs> I wouldn't mind if they never played Change Live again either. Oh, really? You're so, one of those. Yeah, I'm one oh, of those. But okay. Change is one of those songs that was played every goddamn night in the club. Yeah. I, and yeah. I was just. No, you can't argue with the fact that it is perhaps overplayed. Yeah. I I guess as far as Deftones shit goes. Yeah. Not not in the nest not in like the way that, you know, a lot of music is overplayed. But um I still think it would be fucking weird to not hear change at a Deftones show. There's something about it that sort of centers the set for me in a way yeah. that Yeah, yeah. I feel like Be Quiet and Drive maybe used to do. Now it's mm -hmm. well. Once change came mm -hmm. out, it sort of became the the thing. Mm. I don't know. It would be really weird. I actually, um, with uh, a few folks um, like Miguel, who I'm planning to go see at Dia, mm -hmm. uh, we were talking about songs that we would care not to hear or that yeah. we wouldn't be bothered. Yeah. Can I share uh, the the songs that I'm just cool on? Yeah. Uh, the very top of my list. Yeah. Swerve City. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Followed by Mian. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If that's I'm even how you pronounced it. Very much with you on that. Are you? Yeah. What fact, is it? If yeah. I listen to Saturday Night Wrist, I'll often skip that. Do you really? Yeah. How do you just... feel about Saturday Night Wrist? I is that it. a. You do? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm you... old. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Well, that's what I was going to ask. I'm not one well, of your. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not your. Uh, I I don't fit your um theory. <laughs> no, I don't. No, you don't no, at all. No, I don't. But um, were you at all surprised by its renaissance? By the by yes, the yes, yes, yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it trips yeah. me out that it's not self-titled. That self-titled remains yeah. the one that's mm -hmm. sort of in those first five that's sort of overlooked. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Yes, it is. But no, I I loved Saturday Night Wrist from the off. That this is the soaring vocals I think on mm -hmm. Cherry Waves and Xerxes. Mm. Oh my god, I think I want that one played at my funeral. Mm. <laughs> but you won't be there to hear it. Uh, no, but everyone else can. Everybody Cry. else can. Hear it. Boo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
That's, I'm, I'm going to go out on Swerve City. They can listen to Swerve. They can just bounce out. <laughs> Get out of here. Um, on a horse. <laughs> yeah. Still to this day, I hope I is there a picture of Chino riding a horse anywhere? I would like to see it. What is he doing riding about somebody breaking horses? So funny to me. <laughs> so funny. Just unusual. Maybe. Almost borderline absurd. Maybe it comes from his in-laws because they don't have a ranch I think or so. something. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's my theory as well. Yeah. Is that he's there's in a bit of inspiration one day. <laughs> so funny. So funny. <laughs> Um, do you have a favorite song off Saturday Night Rest? Xerxes. Xerxes, yeah. Uh, closely followed by... <sighs> Riviere? <laughs> no, I was going to say Kim Dracula, mm. but then also Combat. Uh, yeah? Yeah, I think. But... Combat's on my list of songs I'm, I'd be okay if I didn't hear. Really? I feel oh. like it had its time to be yeah. special and to be... You know, because it's sort of... Uh, it is a deep cut. Yeah. But they pulled it out. Didn't they play it at Coachella? They They've played it definitely at Coachella. played it recently. You yeah, know, it's like, like once you play it at Coachella, it's like mm. time to find another deep cut. There's some <laughs> other ones that I would rather hear. I bet they played Swerve City at Coachella. <laughs> I bet they fucking And I bet the kids <laughs> loved it. And I bet the kids. I bet Billie Eilish was like, fuck yeah, this is my song. And you know what? I'm, I hope she did. Yeah. <laughs> She's young. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's great. The whole thing, uh, uh, whatever it is that is, and I've asked people, um, in the business, uh, mm -hmm. about like this resurgence and yeah. the because some bands pay for that shit. Yeah, some bands are out there like paying to get on TikTok and to be in the thing, and mm -hmm. some random fucking influencer found. A fucking Morrissey, a Smiths cover. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's like, yeah. Uh -huh. And made them hot. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's great. When I when I saw them at London in twenty two, the the people that I made move up for me on the front row of the balcony, um, it to my right there were sat two girls who were oh how old were they? I think one was nineteen and one was twenty, um, and they were loving. It. I was talking to them quite a bit. Um, I old enough to be their mum, um, and yeah, they were, they they were loving it, and yeah, they were and loving and well, I think liking talking to me as well about it all, you know, because I I'd got a the perspective of someone that liked them for a long time, and yeah, it's really yeah, it's great. It's really it's different. I don't know if like. You know, deadheads share the experience uh, of this generational, like, whatever. I don't know what fan right. base has this similar. Yeah. I'm sure there's somebody. I'm sure somebody has this uh, ability or has had this ability to bring people together in a way that is cross-cultural. It's global. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. global, and it seems to be timeless. And it's really special because it seemed to come from this time when music was so ridiculed. Yes, and from this yes. space that was so like, while popular, definitely like marginalized yes. and like looked down at. Yeah. And here's our fucking favorite band. Like uh, yeah. Just come through it all and still still got it, still doing it. So um where you where do you stand on on uh on gore don't ask me that uh, one <laughs> that was I, a lemon face <laughs> it was a lemon face <laughs> I, it's it's definitely my least favorite it's Is number it? nine on the list yeah 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 well, yeah um you haven't heard the new one yet no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah it's i i just it just doesn't get me it just doesn't hit me yeah I, some of some of it does um but i think was it i think it was one of your conversations you had with miguel i think and that and he had hit the nail on the head when he said or hit the nail on the head for me when he said it's the what's missing is the low end from mm -hmm. steph and mm -hmm. i think that's what i think that's it yeah i i i think i think you're right i think he's right um there's probably an element of uh, 
and that I guess that's been sort of true all along. Although I would contend that I think there's more Steph in it than we know, but still probably not enough. No. But I also think it's like Chino at his crooniest, and I fucking love yeah. that. <laughs> You'd have to croon it. it. Oh man. Like, yeah. Me, it's like the most Maz Chino's ever been yeah. on the record. And I'm, yeah. I'm like, pump that shit into my thing. So yeah. Ohms must have been uh, quite a nice rebound then. Yes, definitely. In your opinion. Yeah. Do you have a favorite from Ohms? Well, it's. It was hearing ceremony actually that um made me kind of re fall in love with them all over again. Really? Um yeah, because I definitely had a I'd had a, a time away. Like I don't remember Gore coming out. Um I just wasn't well, I suppose when that came out I had a what month did that come out? April, oh, April, April. of sixteen. Mm. So I had a six month old at the time. <laughs> I was not in a place to be that'll do it <laughs> yeah I was not in a place to be um have my finger on the pulse with what in music at the time God. yeah I didn't know what I didn't know what day it was <laughs> quite frankly <laughs> so yeah that it, it, I'm afraid to say it passed me by until later yeah um yeah uh but it, but it was hearing ceremony that that hooked me back yeah and got me back into it. So I don't know, maybe that, I don't, but no, actually, no, no, I've changed my mind. I think Ohms, it's the song. Really? Yeah. I yeah. Love that song. Yeah. The, the hearing that opening. Oh, and you know, man. that, that sound, it, it begins and ends with it, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Well, that sound, I live not too far from a railway track. No um, way. It's not, it's kind of, it, it runs a weird diagonal to, to our house but um and i don't know how far away it's going to be probably a quarter of a mile away something like that so it's not near but if the wind's in the right direction um and when the fast trains go by it sounds just like that that's and I, so that, cool honestly the trains go and i just hear the no 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 that red. is so <laughs> Cool. Do you know yeah. that I asked Chino about that yeah, sound? Yes, yes, because I I wondered the same thing, and yeah, I do. Yeah, that is so phenomenal. Because you because you asked him if it was his voice, didn't you? Yes, I thought yeah. it might have been. I thought it might have been yeah. him doing what, yeah, the, whatever yeah. technique he was talking about, but uh -huh. that was unrelated. And and yeah, what I remember about that moment was how he lit up when I was asking yeah, him about him. the sound, and he yeah. was like, "No, no, that's not me." Like, yeah, he was really interested in i think um what i connected with sonically and i bet yeah. that that's probably true of uh of uh, just him in general it's just mm. like him being into yeah sounds, sounds. And, yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah definitely it's like we, we were talking the other day about um the sound at the beginning of be quiet and drive mm -hmm. no no is it yes is it the beginning isn't it yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. I there's... Know what it was. I heard. I saw someone comment how it could be the sound of a hubcap spinning on the ground before it comes to rest. You know? That's interesting. And and actually, and when I listen to it again, that that, that could be right. It could be. You know. Well, it also could just be a real sexy ground. noise. It could be. That's what I always <laughs> thought it was. <laughs> Uh, the brilliant things that the internet has brought know, to Deftones fandom. Yeah. Just, some of it tasteless and absurd. Yeah. But some of it just Some great. of it just Like the microwave fantastic. door for the beginning oh. of them. <laughs> like some just, of them. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. chef's kiss. That's yeah. just <laughs> so good. Oh, no. yeah. yeah, but yeah, the train, the train sound to me, that's the Ohm's beginning. So now every time the train rolls through, yeah, you're like, -na 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 but it's got to be one of the fast trains, yeah, because yeah. we get slower ones and faster the, the the fast train, the London train <laughs> comes by, and um, yeah, it's and that, that song really does have a unique quality. I mean, I'm 
I, I don't mean to paint Deftones into a corner to say that all of their songs sound the same or anything, because they certainly mm -hmm. don't, but they mm -hmm. do have a style and you can identify, I think, as a what a Deftones song yeah. is. Yeah, but I'll that one that. stands out in their mm -hmm. catalog as something that is, I feel like, I can't think of any other song that has that sort of like triumphant, like marching sort of cadence and like like chest out sort of feel that without being like angry or mm -hmm. or yeah. I don't know. It's just a different it's a different Deftones song. Yeah. It, it's really fucking great. And it's a really good video as well. The video that is kind of um War of the Worlds type. So good. Scary. Something about the whole Ohm's presentation and rollout. Every every yeah. aspect of it was just like savory and yeah. I'm really looking forward to all of that for the new album. Right. Just all the little Easter eggs. And, you know, yeah, every every little thing, all of yeah. the little things, except for how much it's going to empty from my very finite bank account. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's the downside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, has your uh, daughter gotten into Deftones at all? Yeah, she has actually. Um, yeah. yeah, I think it's probably... Um, Stockholm syndrome because she well, I'm, I'm sure much the same as your girls they they listen they have to listen to it because it's on <laughs> um I but mean, yeah she has yeah <laughs> that's she great. and she'll ask she'll um she'll ask me mommy can we listen to diamond eyes ah. diamond eyes is the song is her favorite song ah. that's wonderful yeah yeah she asks right in the car or in the kitchen Oh, that's true. My my kids are still not yet to the point to where they will ask for Deftones. They don't, frankly, have to very often. Yeah. No, um, no. <laughs> but I've caught the oldest singing uh, Prayers Triangles. Yeah. And the youngest one just the other day asked me what my favorite song was. And of course, without a beat, I said, Be Quiet and Drive by Deftones. And she was like, what is that? Can I hear it? And so <laughs> just having that little sense of curiosity yeah. is really yeah. exciting. Yeah. Oh, and I did, uh, you know, they did that San Francisco merch drop. Yes. Uh, there was one of the old rainbow. Yes, uh, I tees. saw that. Yeah. So I bought one for my daughter. Her birthday oh, is next week. So yeah. she's going to get her first Deftones shirt <gasps> Oh, for her that's birthday. so cute. I am so excited. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> As you can imagine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's sweet. I don't know if Tubbs would wear a Deftones t-shirt or not. She's big. She's big into Paramore. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, she, they did just like... put some uh, some new stuff out on Hot Topic. Some that looks like uh, it's for younger kids. Really? Matter. And there's uh, what, what's her Haley? Uh, Williams. What's her name? She did the she did the thing. Does your daughter know about the? Well, it was Passenger that she sang with Chino, right? She did. Yeah. Did she? she, did. she has she? Have she you showed her it live? I'm yeah. not sure I have actually. Oh, but then, but yeah. also, I've tried to show her some of Haley's um, solo stuff. <laughs> She's just not interested. Oh, She's really? Like Paramore or nothing? Yeah, I don't. She might be interested in the when she did Passenger with them. I don't know. I, I really, I really want to take her to see them if they come again because yeah. they've been over here touring with Taylor Swift. But I didn't want to take her to see Taylor Swift. <laughs> Sorry, but she doesn't know Taylor Swift, and I, d I didn't want to be the one to introduce her to her. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. Is... So we'll wait for Paramore to come by themselves. Yeah, probably be a little easier ticket to get. Frankly. Yeah. Yeah. The Taylor Swift ticket is. Although Taylor Swift was making them play Misery Business every night, so. Oh really? Yeah. Credit to her for that. Yeah, Taylor's got the. I mean, I guess if somebody's got some pull, it's Taylor. Yeah, Swift. exactly. Yeah. yeah, you're not going to say no to her, are you? No, she's she, she's writing the check. There's no way you're saying. Yeah, that. no, exactly. Yeah, so that that would have been good because they and don't how, always play that. No, they. I I feel like it's one of those that they like walked away from. Mm. They were like, all right, we're done with this. How yeah. old again is your is your daughter? She's a year older than your oldest. Really? She's and just, so you're was, and you're ready to take nine. her to a show. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay. She in fact she was nine on Tuesday. Oh, happy mumversary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's okay. Cause I've been thinking about it and I know the opportunities are dwindling. You know what I mean? There's not going to be shit that didn't even come to Minneapolis or book a date on in Minneapolis yeah. uh, for the next go around. Yeah. What they said was the first leg of the tour. Uh. So I've been thinking about it often. Like, wh when am I going to get the chance? Where was it going to be? How's it going to be? Yeah. Cause I want, I want to take the kid to see Deftones for that. Yeah. 
yeah eventually hang it up before she gets too older yeah. they do <laughs> yeah yeah whichever comes first <laughs> or or you do <laughs> we... Could, no, that time no. could also be no no that won't no. happen no. no i'm i'm still we'll be there early till the in, bitter end till the very as bitter as it might get if it's, yeah exactly uh if it's steph and the steph tones and chino and the chino oh, no 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 i don't think it'll be like that would that i hope not there's no way no. there's just no way i don't like to think that I, although, i'm sorry if for they, throwing it out there if they come here i don't suppose we'll get steph anyway we didn't last time. Does that but fuck you up at all? When I first found out I was really gutted, I I thought, oh, that's not going to be the same. Blah, blah, blah. But do you know what? Lance was fucking brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. So good. And Sean. Yeah, uh, Sean might come this did time. Some de- let's like, yeah. I hope, they, I hope they find a way to continue to work with more musicians in the yeah. touring band. Whatever it helps to yeah. facilitate more songs that... Yeah they don't play all the time because that seems to be yeah. the 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 trend right is that they've opened mm. up the the catalog now that they've yeah. uh gotten more members in the band yeah they've got over the whole thing of not playing songs from certain eras because it brings up the the bad feels yeah it's time to get battle axe out yeah yeah, let's, yeah. Let, let's let's do this where yeah is there is there a song that uh you would love to hear that you haven't or that you would just a song that i'd love to hear again uh mascara i have seen that i have witnessed that live but oh my god that's the one that robert smith heard them playing wasn't it heard them and Is went that in so? oh yeah. that's right yeah, yeah that's right that's uh I, I forget where i heard that story yeah so do i know where was that i'm sure chino told the story he did I can't um, remember. Oh, I think it was during the crosses. Um, oh yes, it might have been the all the, the little tour. podcast. Did. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, I think you're right. How fucking crazy is that? Yeah, I know. And he, and he, well, effectively knocked on the door, didn't he? And or he said to someone that was there with them, "Tell Chino to come and see me when it's finished." And he, yeah, and he, he heard them play mascara, and he asked him about it, about it, didn't he? Can't imagine. Amazing. Can't imagine. No. The validation, the shock, the awe. Yeah, yeah. When it's uh, yeah, when it's one of your musical heroes. Wow. And and then he got to he's he's singing with the pumpkins like oh, regularly. Oh yeah. You know that's yeah. a kid. I I don't feel like. Now, I don't think that I even really understood the depth of the pumpkins' influence until relatively recently. Um, I thought I was going to get a chance to interview Billy uh, right before oh they came. Oh my god! To really? Town. Yeah, but it didn't happen, and oh. that's sort of how it goes. Yeah. But you bet your ass I would have asked him about fucking Deftones because, of course, I yeah. would. After hearing Gish, and yes. how much of adrenaline is influenced by Gish? Yeah. And then really just the artistic influence, just in general. But I mean, yeah. they almost straight ripped stuff off. Yeah. <laughs> from yeah. adrenaline like there's just some qualities about it that are like oh yeah yeah that's yeah, that yeah. that's that you can definitely hear it i mean but he I, i'm i'm sure i've heard chino say he learned to play guitar to pumpkin songs really yeah yeah so he's a fan yeah yeah and that's oh, just like seeing him on stage with them he was loving it wasn't he oh he my was, god he was running just... back and forth like yeah. a kid yeah yeah I love that. With a I love that. Grin on his face. I mean, I, I, I couldn't imagine being more stoked for Deftones, like just generally. Like it's, although I I say that with some reticence because it seems like there's always fucking something going on behind the scenes. <laughs> I was fucking singing their praises in 2020, and then the whole time fucking they were dealing with the Sergio shit in the background. Yeah, so yeah. It's like who knows, but yeah, yeah. That's how that's how Shit it happens. I, yeah. At least to see dude running around like that and it, it generally seems like everybody's excited about the the next record. Like Yeah. It's hard to ignore those positive things and hopefully they're all they all stay. Yeah. Positive. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I've got I've got a good feeling for now. <laughs> <Yeah>. Hopefully <laughs> hopefully the 
wheels are not firmly downward. on. Yeah, yeah, but I'm yeah, yeah. It'd be interesting um, to know, uh, find out what how much Fred has played a role in the new album. I wanted to ask you that, and 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 how it might differ sonically. Yeah, it didn't feel like there was a deep change or anything when Sergio uh, came no. on board. So I no. can't imagine that it'll be like some, they're not going to go like, whoa, hey, we're playing slap bass now. And it's, you know, yeah. he's not going to do, <laughs> yeah. it's not going to be weird. I'll play like this. <laughs> but it, it is, you're right though. It is, right? It's, a, it's, it's interesting to see how yeah. he's going to. Yeah. I'm sure there's already so much chemistry given the amount of touring that they've done together. Yeah, I, I think he seems really cool, Fred. Yeah, yeah, he does. He seems like um, a Deftone, you know. Yeah. Like, he just, yeah. He's got yeah that whole Northern California vibe about him, and yeah. he's, he's just uh, yeah, he's um, it's interesting. It's interesting to see how this next chapter unfolds. Mm. I'm hoping that they roll out a new song at the. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I bet they will. Yeah, I bet they will. I mean, there's... That's not long, is it? What are your month? Yeah, a month away. Yeah. And I don't know what other surprises they could have in store. You know what I mean? Mm. Have you seen Idols before? Yes. I have. I saw them last summer. They did um, a festival that I went to. Um, no, sorry, not last summer, the one before. Yeah, it wasn't last summer. It was the one before. They they were the one of the my main, the main draws for me going. It was just a day thing. Yeah, uh, them and Turnstile. Oh, rad. Yeah. Uh, they were awesome though. Idols. Yes. Oh my god, so good. I'm seeing them again in November, actually. Are you? Yeah, they do. They're doing a UK tour. Oh, nice. Uh, and then are they, uh, they might be going to Europe as well. I can't remember, but um, yeah, they're touring here and they're playing Rock City, where I was mentioning. Um, they're doing two nights actually because the first one sold out in a flash. Nice. Sick. Um, end of November, can't wait. That would be great. I was outside of the building when they played their first show back from the pandemic, like their first oh. show out of uh lockdown or whatever. Right. They, they played at First Ave, yeah. And I, I swear you could feel the whole building shaking, yeah. You could feel the just... energy, yeah. They're really, they're just, uh, I, I don't know. They just, they just get the crowd really riled up. And Joe is such a good front man. I mean, well, they, they're all good. Um, Bowen, who the, the guitarist who ends up usually in the crowd with his guitar on his back, wearing his dress. He's great. Um, um, yeah. But Joe is, is a really, really good front man. Yeah. They're yeah. great. I'm 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 genuinely when I saw them on the bill I I was like genuinely yeah. excited. Oh yeah, that'd be great. Super cool. Yeah. And uh, health, you got to see health. Yeah, I know you fucking oh my god. love some health. Oh my god, I love them so much. They're so And I'm going I... to see those in them I mean, in 2 weeks. 2 Damn, weeks. Damn, really? <laughs> yep. Wait, they're going to be are they already uh in Europe now? Not yet. No. Oh, wow. So they're uh, going over there, I coming think... back here. That's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, and I'm gonna see him in a in a small venue as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I suppose yeah, because they're not. Uh, uh, are they are they bigger over there than they are over here? I don't think so. Or are they about the same? No. They're because they're pretty. They're not. A, they're they're not like I I don't even know. Are they a club size draw or are they? They are. Well, that's what they're playing here. Yeah. Um. In fact, I don't know how big it is. I don't know how big. Th I know. The Manchester venue, the, when they play Manchester, that venue got upgraded because that was a really tiny place. Um, I, I believe I'm t I was told by two girls that I got talking to when I saw crosses actually, um, that because they were from Manchester, and they said that that the venue that Health were playing was tiny, and that if I had the chance to go to that one, go to that one. But then, but I'd already got my tickets for Birmingham, and then the Manchester venue got upgraded. Oh really? To a bigger room, yeah. So maybe they're getting bigger. That most of the UK shows are either sold out or very low tickets. Really? So I wonder how they're yeah. doing over here because they yeah. they feel like they're um, still sort of a, a coastal 
band. I don't think they have the uh, middle American appeal. No, no, Yeah. probably not. Yeah. So Oh, I can't wait to see them. I'm so that's excited. exciting. That's super cool. Uh, what else do we need to talk about Deftones? Anything you want to talk about Deftones? Have we talked about everything Deftones? Uh, I've got, I had a near miss. I've never met them, but No. um, <clears throat> no. A near miss though? Well, at <laughs> download, uh, when they played in 22, they, <laughs> I, um, I, Will Haven played as well. Stick. Yeah, Yeah. you've seen Will Haven. Yeah, I've seen, yeah, I've seen them twice, I think. I saw them back in the day. They played my city, which is unusual because my city doesn't, it's not usually on the, um, It's the, not on the tour routing. it's not, no, Yeah. but Nottingham is, and that's only kind of 25 miles away. So, you know, I, Not I, the worst. I, I can't complain too much, Yeah. but yeah, but Will Haven played my city at my little, on the, on the toilet circuit venue, as they, Wow, as we, as we call that it. rules. Yeah. The Little, toilet circuit. I don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how big that venue was. It's not there anymore, unfortunately, but, um, oh, I used to go there all the time to see, to see bands back in the day. It's, it's a little, little venue. It's maybe 200 cat. It's small. And I saw Will Haven there. Yeah. But I saw them at, um, and that was 2002, I think. I've got my ticket still. I think, I think it's 2002. That's cool as shit. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, they played it, um, download 22. And um, I, I just, I went with one friend to that download and uh, Bush played at the same time as Will Haven. Will Haven were in a, a, lit, a little tent and Bush were on the second biggest stage and I really wasn't that bothered about seeing Bush. Sorry. Um, Well, I have there'll be seen plenty them. of chances to see I have Bush seen again. them before Yeah. when it was actual Bush and not just Gavin and his mates. Yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah, my friend Louise really wanted to see Bush um, but, and we, we bumped into her cousin that was there and, and they wanted to see Bush too. So I was like, oh, can I just, I'll leave you guys and I'll go and see Will Haven by myself. So I just went by myself um, and, you know, met up with them again afterwards. That's bad. And it was great. So I, I was, I wasn't really sure how, what the pit situation would be. So I stood quite a little, well, not really far back because it wasn't, it wasn't particularly a busy Sure. show, you know, that bit. Yeah, Bush. Yeah. 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 And I, yeah. <laughs> and whoever else was on the main stage at the time, God knows. But um yeah, so I kept kind of kept my distance and um and then and then actually the worst of the pit was right next to me. Um uh, and it looked okay at the front. So I thought, fuck it, I'm gonna go to the front because they were only on for about half an hour anyway. Yeah. And uh, so I went to the right to the front, um to the on on the on the barrier and um You'd watch the rest of it from there. It was great. Ended up getting a set list and everything at the end. Um, and then and I, I watched that performance back on YouTube. Oh, gosh. It was probably a couple of months later or something. <laughs> to, only to discover that Frank and uh, Lance had been in the, like, in the bit, you know, bit between the barrier and the stage. No Taking way. fucking photos of Will They Haven. were standing right there and Yeah, you but didn't. it was before I'd moved to the front. Ah, And then of it must course. have been about the time I moved to the front. They They moved to the back. left. They Yeah, they like, they left. <laughs> Frank went to the pit. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't know. So, yeah. You were in the front. Yeah, and I was there in my, um, my Dickies Deftones In your Deftones hoodie. hoodie and Just the near missed miss. him. God's sake. Yeah. Yeah. There'll And be I a must chance. have. You'll get a Yeah. chance. It'll happen. And I, I know um, Deftones and Cross's PR lady, the UK PR, she Oh, posted uh, a picture. Emma. Emma Van Dutz. Van, yeah. 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 She 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 posted posted a picture a from the Will picture. Haven show. No, she, when I saw uh, Cross's earlier this year, I saw them in London and Manchester. But the London day, I went, to, my friend and I went down there. And we were hanging out in Camden before the show in London. Um, and um, yeah, Emma posted a picture of Chino on the street that we'd been on from that day. 
<laughs> so that was the end of the nemesis. So follow your instinct, but then don't go anywhere. Is the yeah, <laughs> yeah, just yeah. Stay put. Get there early. Ah, yeah. oh. I know. Yeah, you'll get your chance. I think I feel like the uh, the VIP that they offered on this tour had a meet and greet. So, oh, does it? I mean, maybe that will maybe happen the, again. Maybe they'll do that over here. Mm. It would be nice. I mean, you know, the VIP, the meet and greet thing has its pluses and minuses. Mm -hmm. But, um, but if you've never got to meet Deftones, no, I haven't. I might freak out though. I don't know if I can trust myself to not like. Been there. You know. Give yourself some grace. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay to freak out. <laughs> That's all right. I'll never forget standing out in line uh, at outside of First Ave before the 2010 or 11 meet and greet when we got to go uh, and check the sound check. Yeah. And Chino gets out of a car like right in front of us on the curb. We're like in two uh, parallel lines, like waiting to go into the Seventh Street entry, which is um, attached to First Avenue, where they were going to hold the meet and greet. Yeah. And Chino gets out, and I'm like, yeah, Chino! Chino! <laughs> Only person. 30, 40 people there, and I'm like... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> like, well, what Midwesterns. were the other people thinking? <laughs> yeah. Just what were Minnesotans. the other people thinking? They, they weren't. Just... They, they, we, have, we are notoriously, like, impossible to get excited. Like, oh, really? Okay. Yes. If, if you go to... You have to go to uh, a Deftones show... To see a, a a crowd here mm -hmm. get worked. Uh, otherwise, like if it's just a band that maybe people know or are sort of cat, we'll just stand there. We'll yeah. just stand there and sip yeah. our drinks, even if we're having a good time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. We're not a great crowd. <laughs> we're just not. <laughs> it's... Is that why they've skipped you? It could be forthcoming tour. I don't. I don't, I, they... I don't think so. I hope not. <laughs> no. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's tough to get uh, Midwestern or at least Minnesotans <laughs> to sort of come out of their shell. But then when you do, like at a Deftones show, like it's obviously still a Deftones show. And yeah, I, I would say that's probably that's probably similar to British people generally. Really? Yeah. I thought you guys uh, didn't give a shit and you were like fucking balls to the wall all the time. Some some people definitely, but there are there's definitely that um yeah, the, there's definitely the British contingent that would you know, don't want a little more sophisticated, a little uh, more or just a bit more reserved and yeah. you know, don't want to don't want to show yourself up kind of thing. Yeah, that is our character for sure. Mm. Yeah, a little more reserved, don't mm. want to we don't want to let necessarily let loose until you yeah. tell us and really make us feel okay. And then we'll embarrass yeah. the shit out of ourselves. And yeah. Shitty beer also does the trick. I yeah, would imagine definitely. That's, yeah. 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 Oh yeah. <laughs> well, to, to wrap uh, our conversation, mm -hmm. to wrap mm -hmm. our podcast, I'm going to mm -hmm. ask you the question that I ask everybody, yeah. which is a request for recommendations. Okay. Um, three of them, if you got them, uh, mm -hmm. music, whatever the case may be, whatever you feel like uh, is uh, worth people spending a little time with. What do you, what do you okay. got for me? Well, uh, I might have said health, but we've already talked about those. Um, um, Otherwise, yeah. that would be A1 on your list. It, it might have been, yeah. Because, is there uh, a yeah, great, what is the health the... song, other than the Be Quiet and Drive cover, is there yeah. a health song to start with for, uh, well, for Deftones fans? I would say go to their latest album, Rat Wars um just check out the, album. the whole goddamn thing yeah it's just fantastic don't start to finish all right so that's your first not a recommendation yet no I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah if, yeah, if yeah, you want to count the, that as the, one that is well -okay. I, or i might also say uh chelsea wolf oh really oh my god yeah yeah I just, wait didn't she just I, drop a song with chino um crosses remixed one of her songs oh it was a crosses remix yeah really. which yeah. is really good yeah. yeah, and she's from Sacramento. That's right. Another, she is. another one. I feel like I've tried to get her on the podcast. But oh, really? She was probably a touch more challenging to pin down. I think mm -hmm. um, when I was trying to reach out to her, it was uh, at the same time like she had put out an album and was sort of oh busy with starting all that. to ascend and yeah. yeah yeah her latest album oh god 
so good. I went to see her in April as well in London. She's coming back actually in this month and I'm sorely tempted to go. There's a lot of shows in October though and I'm That's October for you. Yeah. October always seems to be loaded yeah. up like and that. Yeah, and loads of records coming out in October. Yeah. That yeah. I've what are you what are you own. looking forward to? What's coming up? Uh Touche Amore. Of course. The yeah. new one. Mm -hmm. Big fan of them. And um Drug Church is tomorrow, I think. Oh really? Yeah, they've got I'm going to see out. them uh, in a couple of weeks. Oh, are you? I Actually, really I'm I'm really going to see Modern Color. They're the band oh, okay. that I'm super stoked on for that yeah. bill. I've seen Soul Blind, who is also on the bill. Yeah. Um, and definitely, literally Deftones fans. You know yeah. what? I've seen Drug Church probably three or four times, but I've never gone for Drug Church. They're always okay. the headlining band on like a bill with a bunch of other bands that I'm really excited to see. That's sort of okay. But I'll check out yeah. their new album for sure. Yeah. To... I, well, certainly the they've had a they've dropped a single recently, Demolition Man, I think it's called. Oh yeah, yeah, we played that on our metal show. Really good. Or on the maybe defunct metal yeah. show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that song. That's cool. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah, of course they've got an album coming out. Yeah. Is there and anything it's else got that's a, weird? It's got us. Um, but they've got and the lyric in that song about seeing a dog in a video. I saw a video, and it's a uh, anyway about a dog. You might like it. You got a dog. I do. You're, I do not. You're have a dog, dog owner. Hey. No, is Welcome dog to the world of dog ownership. <laughs> it is an adventure. Let me it tell is. You that. It is, it especially is. when they're puppies. Oh yeah. boy. Yeah. 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 See, mine's eleven now, so we're well past that. But yeah. Oh, that's nice. But, you know, our our guy is pretty chill. So it's, oh, that's good. I mean, he still likes to chew on everything. Yeah. Um, but how the fuck does a dog bite the back of your like your <laughs> tricep? How the fuck does he even? <laughs> and damn, does it hurt like shit? Oh. Those little puppy yeah. teeth. But yeah, yeah, it's it's been a lot needles. Of they really yeah. are. They really mm -hmm. are. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Um. Yeah. What else is coming out in October? Uh, I can't remember, but I know I keep hearing things about records coming out in October and I'm thinking, no, oh, I'm not gonna have time to listen to all this. Yeah. But, are you are you going to many shows? Um currently health is the only one I have a ticket for, but I'm tempted by Chelsea Wolf again and mm. oh, I'll tell you who is coming. Trauma Ray are coming because oh. they I know I, look, I really like them. Um, Miguel had never heard of them uh, oh. and ended up seeing them and fell in love. Yeah, I'd, I'd really like to see them. They're, they're actually coming to do Outbreak Festival, are doing a day, a one day indoor festival, which I'm not going to go to, but they're coming for that. Um, and then while they're here, they're playing, they're supporting Citizen. A, oh, cool! A show in Birmingham, which is not too far from me. I'm very tempted to go to that. I'd really like to see them, but yeah. need to see. Oh, who else is someone else playing? Oh, I can't remember now. But someone else that I thought, oh, I'd, I'd quite like to go to that. But it's just October. That's October yeah. for you. It's, yeah. it's one of those months. It's all. Yeah. It is always one of those months. It's nice. It's yeah. fun. It's good. Yeah. It's fun to see shows. Yeah, but yeah, I would. Chelsea Wolf is definitely a recommendation. She is, she's just ethereal. Um, is there a Chelsea Wolf song that you uh, would start with or album? The latest album is really good. She reaches out to she reaches out to she. Cool. Really, really good. Um, uh, I don't think there's a. a, a yeah, there's not there's not a bad well, I haven't heard a bad song by her to be honest, but certainly every song on that really really caught me. She's yeah, she's really I don't know young. what is it what it is about her, but I sort of feel like she should be bigger than she is. Yes. Is that yes, I agree. Yeah. No, yeah, I would go with that, definitely. There's something yeah. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't, she I don't has, know what that's she's got these really dreamy ethereal parts of her songs but then also some really heavy bits as well <laughs> remind you of anyone yeah. <laughs> that's that um, sacramento thing I guess. yeah yeah honestly yeah uh, when i found out that's where she's from i thought oh, typical another another <laughs> <laughs> truly 
yeah, another Sakte artist I'm drawn to, weirdly. But, it really um, is weird, frankly. I know. It, it I is know. weird, but yeah, here we are. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. I definitely recommend her. Um, what about another recommendation? This might be a bit weird. It's not a, it's not a musical one. Stretching. I like this recommendation. Stretching. <laughs> yeah. All right, we so... have to dig into this. <laughs> At least okay. a little bit. Well, I've had, um, well, for a long time now, probably over a decade, I've had various back issues, mm -hmm. definitely exacerbated when pregnant. Um, I bet, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and then and that never really still hasn't properly completely gone away. But um, a few, well, yeah, I think it was in 2020 actually got particularly bad. Like I was in a lot of pain all the time and I managed to get to see a physiotherapist bearing in mind it was covid times um and she well she kind of sorted me out but she gave me some stretches to do every day and since then i do them religiously every morning and i am so much more limber and not in pain and they're 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 most of them anyway are, are yoga poses really so mm -hmm. yo yoga but i can yeah i can just do everything again um and I, i'm sure the stretching is why is there a pose or a stretch that you are prepared to demonstrate for the podcast <laughs> listener no uh, that, <laughs> yeah how does that work <laughs> is there one that you find that is most attributable to your uh um the one yeah, that you just like yeah maybe most? actually yeah probably if you when you're laying on your back and you twist your knees together but twist them one way but then your upper body the other way really with your knees oh, together yeah interesting it, i haven't yeah, tried that that's... i like throwing one leg over like that while trying yeah. to keep my back yeah. flat but yeah. i'll try i'll yeah, try with the what knees together well. yeah but so your knees twist one way and mm -hmm. you twist your head and you yeah your neck the other way dude stretching is so crucial as an old yeah. person i had yes. never yes amen it's like uh, when I started uh, exercising again and, and really got into it, um, there was a time when I found that my neck would just start seizing up mm -hmm. for like days and I couldn't drive. I'd have to look over and bend my yeah. whole body to like look over my shoulder. Mm -hmm. uh, stretching. I, mm -hmm. I can totally get behind yeah, stretching. Just, yeah. And it, it sounds really basic, but I swear that's what's that's given me. And you're right, just like a little bit every day yeah, over I, time I, certainly does increase one's flexibility. Yeah, I, and... I keep my I keep my yoga mat under the bed, slide it out as soon as I get up every morning, do the little routine that she gave me. I got to find something for my lower back. My lower yeah. back is what's really fucked up. I think yeah. I don't know how to I don't know how to uh, 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 bend over properly. I don't. Yeah, I don't, have, I don't have a good hinge point or something. Yeah, my lower same. back is just. Yeah. Fuck, fuck the dishwasher. You know what I mean? Like yeah, that, exactly. Oh, it's yeah. It's just like it's punishment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it is punishment. I know. Uh, it's like toothache. That's what it's like it toothache is. in your lower back. It is. It's horrible. And nobody yeah. knows unless they know. Yeah. It's a lot like parenting. Yeah, nobody really knows <laughs> yes. the pain. Yeah, you, can't, they you can't describe it properly to anybody. You can't make somebody understand. They have to go through it. Uh, you know, I, I feel a lot older than I am. I think could use a bit of a stretch right now if I'm being honest I, when, when's it going to stop uh, thank you Emma I appreciate you joining me today and for being a friend the past couple of years it's been a pleasure getting to know you I appreciate you my name is Woody you can find me on Instagram and Twitter I'm at Woodbra if you want to talk about my favorite band W-O-O-D-B-R-U-H hit me up thank you for listening to Deftones and thank you for listening to Change in the House of Pods <laughs>